guys and welcome to Celebrity. Now, I usually tell you that my name is Essence and I'm giving you the best in entertainment news. But you know what? We know each other now. Y'all know me. It's Valentine's Day coming up. We go together, right? Let's just get into these stories. Now, the first story, we're going to talk about the Grammys. Huge, big deal. It was the 57th Annual Grammy Awards. It aired on February 8th. Of course, it was live as usual. LL Cool J hosted it, but that was not the highlight of the evening. I'm sure you guys have heard about Kanye West going on stage after Beck won the award for Album of the Year. So he wins his award. Kanye West goes up there while he's there for his acceptance speech. He goes there real quick and then he goes off stage real quick. So of course the audience is cracking up. They know the deal. They know how what Kanye West is about. Beck looking around looking crazy because he don't know what's going on. I'm looking like this is about to be some mess and I know that Instagram is going to go crazy with this. So Kanye West does an interview, a red carpet interview for E after the whole thing, after he gets his attention. He goes and does an interview with E and says that the Grammy needs to have respect for artistry and Beck needs to have respect for artistry. He goes a step further saying that Beck needs to give his Grammy, his Grammy guys, he needs to give it to Beyonce because Beyonce should have won the award for album of the year. Mind you, Kanye West was in this category as well, but he says that he needs to give his award to Beyonce. Now, I wonder if Kanye would have gave his award to Beyonce had he won. We, don't, we, won't, we won't find that out because he didn't win. Beck won. Now, I'm in the beehive. I love me, Beyonce, me some Beyonce. I really do. And while we're talking about Beyonce, shout out to Beyonce because she won three Grammys that night. That's at, together, she's gotten 20 Grammys. 20 Grammys. So I don't think that she's worried about one little Grammy. Beyonce is above that. So anyways, we're getting off subject. So anyways, so he goes on to say that Beck needs to respect artistry. Won't, won't, won't. I have to agree with Whoopi Goldberg, who was on The View, saying that Kanye West was out of line. This is why I say Kanye West is out of line. Everybody who's at the Grammys are artists, real artists. We have to respect everybody. If you're even nominated for, nominated for a Grammy, that's, that's an accomplishment in itself. So to go on there and try to discredit somebody who does the same thing as you, who does music, who is passionate about their craft and try to discredit that and take their accomplishment from them. I think it's whack. Kanye is whack for that. And you do a lot of dope things, but that was whack. Like, why? Anyways, next story. Why did you do that? Okay. We're going to talk about Bobby Christina. You're going to have to keep her in your thoughts, keep her in your prayers. Um, pretty much a bad situation because outlets like TMZ, um, the National Enquirer, Atlanta Journal have reported that the family of Bobby Christina would take her off of life support on the day, on the anniversary of the death of her mother, Whitney Houston. Now, Bobby was found in a tub very similar to Whitney Houston, which is very scary. Um, she was found unconscious in a tub, rushed to the hospital where she is now on life support. Now, all these reports came out that her family would take her off for of life support, um, that they were all surrounding her for her last moments, and all these things. Well, recently, Bobby's Brown lawyer has put out a statement that all these outlets who are putting out these stories, they're all will be handled legally because they are false, they're not true. The family is not planning on taking her off life support, not now, and when they do, we wouldn't know because they don't plan on giving out that information. So, I just wanted to clear that up, that um, we just need to continue to keep Bobby in our prayers. She's still on life support right now. We just hope that she pulls through, we really do. And we just hope that, you know, the family can just come out of a bad situation because we know that it's not a good situation right now. So we're keeping Bobby in our prayers. Now, Valentine's Day is quickly approaching. It's approaching on the 14th. It's a Saturday, but love is not in the air for Toya Wright and her husband Memphis. And I'm going to tell you why. They need to get off of Instagram for one. Um, they've been on social media like crazy recently. Um, all these rumors about them getting a divorce and splitting is really because of them and what they're putting on Instagram. So let me tell you what Memphis does today. Memphis goes on Instagram and he puts a picture on Instagram, a pic stitch of 
his wife, Toya Wright, himself, and then K. Michelle. So K. Michelle and Toya, it's not a secret that they have not gotten along. It's also not a secret that K. Michelle, which is his ex, have a history of being in an abusive relationship. She she claims that he beat her, um, and then all these rumors came out that she was lying about that. Now it's just a mess. So, anyways, Toya's putting a lot of things on Instagram about how she just wants everybody to keep her keep her in their prayers. That she is fighting for her family. She's fighting for her marriage. Speaking of Toya, right? Um, her daughter Regine, which is the daughter to Little Wayne. Her Sweet 16 will air on MTV on February 16th. I'm going to see. I need to check that out. I need to see what's going on with Regine. She's so cute. But anyways, Regine, I mean, Toya and Memphis are just going through it right now. It's a mess on Instagram. Listen, when you're married, let's act accordingly, people. Beyonce would not be putting on Instagram her and Jay's billion dollar arguments. Let's take note of this, okay? Look, we're married now, let's just act accordingly, okay? Because it's just not cute. But speaking of Valentine's Day, Fifty Shades of Grey is coming out. So if you have a lady or if you have a best friend like I do, go see Fifty Shades of Grey. That's where I'll be. I cannot wait to see it. It's a good movie. It should be a good movie. It was a great book. It's three books, actually. Great story. Go see Fifty Shades of Grey. Um, I will check you guys out later. Our next episode will be next month. New stories. Of course, everything's always happening in the world of celebrities. So I'll see you guys very soon. Bye.